Hooty who. What's up? It's your on tap news recap. Uh, today was a rough day. I think we can all agree that today sort of just never happened. But like the brave raptor that I am, I'm going to dive into the news for you. This is on tap with the drunken disorderly media. I'm Raptor. Let's do this. Our first story is the FEC commissioner ripped Facebook over its political ad policy, which is basically to not have a policy, which is the most American thing I can fucking think of. Facebook is saying if you want to lie and everyone else is dumb enough to believe you. And people have a problem about this, like all these politicians are pretending that they care about lying as their line, but whatever. So in, in particular, uh, this, the person who's complaining is the FEC commissioner. Um, Ellen Weintraub. Look, you got a stupid fucking name as well as a dumb job. Go eat a dick. <clears throat> In her tweet, she said, Facebook's weak plan suggests the company has no idea how seriously it is hurting democracy. Or not. A democracy we're not a republic we're a federation no one is bit is a bigger believer in transparency than i bullshit but here proposing transparency solutions is window dressing when facebook needs to be putting out the house fire it has lit by censoring people they don't like yeah, eat a dick, lady. No one cares what you have to say. Not a single. And your hair, Jesus Christ. Who let you out of the house looking like that? Ugh. I can't even with this. We're moving on to the actual favorite story that I have today because it gives us a chance to bust out the Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill him. So, the fuck do you want? This is the news episode. Do you have no pride? No. Di oh, you smelled my cheese. You get down. You leave my fucking cheese alone, asshole. That's the high quality news content that you get when you come to our channel. There will be a talking to with the wife running the dog in the basement. Um, <clears throat> so Epstein's surveillance video from the first time he tried to kill himself is mysteriously erased because of technical errors. <laughs> we are literally to the point of Hillary Clinton taking disk drives out into her driveway and beating them with a hammer so that the feds didn't catch her whatever the fuck she was doing with her emails. We're at that level of hilarity with the Epstein stuff. Uh, at this point, it's not did Epstein kill himself as is Epstein dead? Did they break him out or did they murk him? One or the other. It You can't even argue at this point. Even most of the press has given up arguing at this point. Whatever. Anyway, moving on to another story I actually really cared about. Um, a second baby in the U.S. was born with an experimental procedure of transplanting a uterus from a deceased donor to a living person. I almost said woman, but I actually, about halfway through that, I realized, man, if they can do that, then they could, like, legitimately... Uh, I'm sure this is big news in the trans community. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Jennifer Gobricht gave birth to... Uh, Benjamin Thomas Gobricht. He, he's an ugly little baby, but that's okay. They all are. It's a, they'll be adorable someday. Um, this is a a new uh, study that they're doing to to see if this is possible, which apparently it is. The baby looks fine. Parents look fine. I can tell you uh, it's something my wife and I might have to look into because there's some issues there, um, some health concerns. And this could be a great way for us to actually have the one kid that we've uh, really wanted but couldn't have. So I know that, uh, like, if you're a regular here, we talk about the girls a lot. Those are those are my stepkids. 
And if that's all I ever have, I am perfectly happy with that because they are wonderful children. Um, but, you know, it'd be cool. Uh, they want a little brother anyway. Our next story. <laughs> oh, this isn't even really a story. It's an opinion article that I wanted to talk about for a minute. This is from Slate. So prepare yourself. America desperately needs to rebuild the IRS. Uh, excuse me, you misspelled tear the fuck down. I got you, though. I got you. Uh, this week brought another stark reminder of how a decade of budget and personnel cuts have crippled the IRS. Oh, darn. So basically, they're complaining that there's less audits. It went from about 1% of um, tax returns being audited in 2010 to less than 0.5%. Like, oh, no. Um, oh, who do you have to be to think, man, you know what we need? More of the IRS. Like, what? kind of person wakes up in the morning is like you know man i really wish the irs was doing more <sighs> slate this is why the democrats lose because they read slate and our last story uh is something that I kind of geeked out about reading today. It is a it's a story called of ants and men. And I'm going to try to break down what was kind of over my head. But here's what they're saying. So you have ants, which are just ants, you know, whatever. But um some ants do this thing and some ants do this thing. And when those ants are out there doing that thing, they're mingling with other ants who are doing that thing. And that creates a, um, a separation of the species. And the reason this ties into humans is thusly. Uh, their example, I'm actually gonna, gonna read their example because there's no way I'd be able to... Uh, here we go. <clears throat> if ants A and B have both checked the community food stores recently and checked on their young recently, but A has a lower threshold for hunger, while B has a lower threshold for worrying about the health of the larva, A will head out foraging while B rushes back to the nursery. Over time, this leads A to interact with more with other hunger-sensitive ants who become the foraging team, while B spends more time with care providers with other care providers and they become nurses combine that with social in influence in and interaction bias the gulf between foragers and nurse nurses grows steadily wider and that is how they are explaining um the the polarization of american politics uh i think that's super interesting i don't know if i buy it but i think there's probably some truth to it at the very least um yeah, I'm actually going to throw that article into the chat. Like the other ones, I don't really care to throw in the chat, but that one's going in the chat. If anyone wants to check that out, if you are watching this later on YouTube, uh, I'm going to throw it um, in the YouTube video tonight. So remember, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you have, if you're watching this on Facebook, go to our YouTube. Subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't heard us on Facebook, go to Facebook.com/slash. D and D Liberty, yeah, we changed our name. We've bounced around a little bit. You know, we get around. It's what we do. Um, other than that, uh, we're gonna. I found a way to do this on Twitch as well. I just got to figure some things out. So we're gonna be expanding even more. So check us out and uh, peace. <laughs>